Coming to y'all today on my wife's 2015 Chevrolet Suburban. Looks like that inside. Uh, what I'm changing out here is the uh, the part right there for the trailer brake. I'm getting the uh, service trailer brake light coming on. Uh, pretty easy to change out. I'll kind of show you all the reverse order here. Uh, there's a couple clips. They just snap in there, there, and there, and then right there, and right there, there's uh, two seven millimeter bolts, and then uh, snap this all back on here, and there's two right here, and right here, T15 torque heads, and then your, uh, your side piece here just snaps back on there. Pretty easy to do. Uh, the hardest part was getting these little clips out. Uh, had to get a uh, like a little pry tool. Kind of looks like this right here, and uh, kind of get in there, get in there like that underneath them, and just pry them out, and they uh, pop out, and that's what they look like when they come out. Uh, so yeah, the only tools I needed for this was a seven millimeter nut driver. Uh, T15 Torx head and some brute strength to pull these out and that's about it. Uh, basically, uh, you got these some little clips back here. Uh, when you snap the new piece in, like this right here, there's some little ears. You want to get your pry bar down and pull those out that way. And then there's one on that side and this piece just comes right out. Pretty easy to do, fix the annoying service trailer brake light. Uh, I was getting the, uh, every now and then the gain, the gain meter would come up and then the, obviously the error message that dings all the time uh, would come up. Uh, other than that, pretty easy. Y'all shoot me some questions below if y'all got any questions and I'll try to answer them. Uh, bought the GM Genuine part off of Amazon. I think it was about 35, 39 bucks, something like that. There's the part number again, just so you can see it. I'm gonna get all this put back together, and uh, if I run any snags, I'll I'll keep shooting some video. There you have it, guys. Got it back in. Uh, doesn't seem to be throwing the uh, error light when I turned it on. It was doing it every time I turned it on. Uh, but like I say, this pops off. Use the uh, door trim tool. Kind of just get in there like that. Don't be afraid to yank it. It's not going to hurt anything. Give it a pop like that. And then uh, your two 15 millimeter Torx heads right there. And just grab this. And don't be afraid. Just yank it. It'll pop loose from the clips right here along the bottom side of the panel. Uh, nothing broke when I did it. So. And then once you get that loose there, you'll have those two seven millimeters. Pop those out and then just grab this and give it a yank and it'll pop right out. So, all right, well, I'll post a, uh, I'll have a, a still photo of the error code put in the video so that way you can see it and see if it resembles y'all's error code and hopefully this will take care of it for everybody. Thank y'all.